wanted to come out today just to do some quick postseason scouting. Uh, today, looking for some new uh, fresh sign, looking for doe bedding areas and buck bedding areas. And also, sorry about the voice. Um, been battling a cold the last three to four days and just starting to feel a little bit better, but voice is still making a struggle to come back. So, finally got some decent weather, able to get out here and kicking this cold. Supposed to get four to five inches of rain here the next week, so I want to try to get out today and see if there's any fresh sign out here. As you can see right here, I'm up on a uh, doe bedding area. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell with this picking up on this camera. But right here, uh, you can tell the grass is smashed down a little bit. Pretty obvious doe bedding area. Tell some does have been in here. This area is just a lot more open, not near as much cover. And then right here behind me is a buck bed, uh, right in this area right here. You can see how thick it is compared to the doe beds that I've showed you. A um, lot more security there, a lot more noise whenever something's approaching that buck bed, so the bucks you know, feel much safer and are able to hear any predators or anything that's sneaking up on them. Then you can see here how it's kind of open right here, but then if you pan just a little bit in the camera, it doesn't pick it up real well. But you can tell right here how thick things are. That's where the buck bed is. So right here is the opening of that briar patch. You can just tell how the center of this whole thing is just kind of trampled down. Right here, if you can tell, there's a buck bed right there. And right over here is another spot. Right there's another bedding area. One thing I like to do whenever I think I find a buck bed is just to actually get down on a knee 
uh, kind of puts you on their perspective as if they are laying in that physical location. You really be able to pick up a lot more detail in just how they kind of utilize that buck bed or that specific location. Uh, what they'll like to do is use maybe some slopes or some hillsides. That way it gives them a vantage point to overlook um, just what's down below. So if they're set up and they're laying in a buck bed that's on a hillside or a slope, they'll be able to actually look down over a ravine or a valley and see anything that might be coming towards them that would cause harm. And if they're doing that, they're more than likely going to have the wind um, blowing towards their back. So what that does is if something's sneaking up behind them, uh, they'll actually be able to smell the predator before it gets to them and that allows them to cover both things in front plus anything behind. They're using their sense of smell for anything coming from behind them and then they're constantly observing everything down in front of them. So if there's something specific you guys would like me to try to make a video on, um, any ideas, any tips, any strategies, anything like that, just comment down below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it and see if it's something that I can provide any information on and help you guys out. As always, happy hunting. Stay safe. See you guys.